Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you best mic settings for stream apps. But before we start, hurry up and check out his offer just under this video. So let's get started. This case, if you're looking for the best mic settings here for Streamlabs, well in this case, there are a few things you need to know and a few settings that you might want to try out. So, first things first, let's go open up Streamlabs here. And on Streamlabs, we need to discuss a few things. Now, in this case, the quality of your audio actually depends uh, greatly on what type of audio, or in this case, mic, you are currently using. Now, if you have a professional mic, then most likely the audio itself is going to be pretty good. And in this case, you just need to do a little tweak here and there just to basically enhance it further. But in this case, if you only have like, for example, a headset, headset mic or some other mic out there. Now, in this case, it might not have the best uh, quality out there. And in this case, settings or changing a few settings here on Streamlabs, it might not help a lot. So if that's the case, it is uh, recommended that you uh, invest on a mic first to increase the quality of your mic. But again, if you already have a pretty good mic or if you just want to enhance your current mic here, well, in this case, again, there's a few settings that we could change. So first things first, you want to go to the bottom left here and access the gear icon, which is the settings icon here. Click on it. Now, first, we want to go to the option that says audio. Now, in audio, what we need to do is we need to go to the sample rate at the very top here. Now, the sample rate is just that you set this to 48KHZ. Uh, now, in this case, you want to also change the channel here. So, you may have it on mono here, but if you do see it in mono, set this to stereo. Now, once we are done here, let's move on to output. Let's go and click on output at the left panel. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to change our output mode. So the first thing that you notice, it's going to be set as simple. But if we set this to advanced, we'll have more option. Now, in this case, what we need to do next is we need to update a few things. Now, by the way, just to give you some idea here, you with the output mode here, which is the advanced mode, uh, if once we set this to advanced, you'll have the capability of using multiple tracks. Now, I'll be showing you later on how to set that up. But in this case, in output mode, we need to first change a few things. So in here, the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and basically change your audio track. Now, you can set this to any audio track here. But since I have only uh, set up, like, for example, I'm uh, currently streaming. So if you're streaming, again, like what I said before, you only have one audio track that you could use. So since by default, the audio that you have here may be on your desktop or in your uh, microphone. By default, it's going to be one. So let's go and select one here. And next, we want to go to recording. Now, in recording, what we need to do is we need to basically change our format. So set this to MP4 and also choose the audio track that you want to set here. So specifically, this is going to be for recording. So again, uh, streaming only has one audio track, but if you're going to record, it has two audio tracks here. So let's go and choose one and two here. And from here, let's go ahead and basically change a few things more here. So let's go to the audio tab here. And from here, we want to change a few things. Now, since we are using audio track one and two, we want to increase the bit rate. So let's go ahead and increase this. So scroll down a bit here, change, the, change this to 320. So it's the highest value that we can set right now. And once you've done that, let's go ahead and click on done. Now from here, we now need to set up our uh, differences or our audio tracks. Let's go ahead and click on the gear icon at the top right here, which in this case allows you to open the audio settings. Now from here, since we want to separate the audio for our desktop and our microphone, Let's go ahead and uh, basically select the microphone as the audio track too. Now you might be asking, now how do you actually, or how do you use audio tracks here? Now in this case, if you're going to record something, basically it's going to give you two tracks that you could basically edit. Like for example, if you're editing in a, a professional or software like Adobe Premiere, instead of just getting one audio track, you'll be getting two, a separate audio for your desktop as well as for your microphone. 
Now, in this case, how is it actually useful? Now, if you want to improve or edit a few things on your voice or in your audio, you can do that via the professional software itself. So this is a great way for you to basically isolate your voice here. So especially if you're explaining something and you want to increase your voice, like for example, you want to make it sound like you're in a podcast. Well, in this case, using multi-track here, or in this case, multiple audio tracks can actually help you a lot. But yeah, so those are the simple settings that you could change here to improve your settings in Streamlabs. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.